Okay, this is part three. I'm not going to delete part two. You're going to see me swear. You're going to see me say some things that are less becoming. All right. So I left off with saying things that was less becoming. All right. When you take children and you put them all together from K to the third grade, nine times out of ten, their wealth, their gender, their race means nothing to them because they don't know what any of that shit is. Until we adults, that's right, you, me, the universe, starts corrupting them and starts teaching them that you can't like that light-skinned kid because he's not fully black. You can't like that white kid because they have blonde hair and blue eyes and we just have black hair and we don't have blue eyes, but we're still white too and we're blonde. But, you know, we're not like their blonde hair and blue eyes. We're just blonde and black eyes. So there's something special and there's something corrupt and wrong with them. And I don't know if white people have that issue. I'm just saying that as a metaphor. Now, as far as black people, that I do know that this shit here, this light tone versus this dark tone, it is an issue that black people have, the color wheel thing. Again, we'll get into that later. But racism in itself, we teach it to the children. The children grow up and teach it to their children. And so on and so on. And that's been the way it is because no one wants to sit the fuck down and stop it. No one. Now, before I got interrupted in the last video by one of my siblings who can clearly see the damn lights but just doesn't give a damn, um, I was going to tell y'all that I had punched a girl in the mouth for calling me the N-word in school. This also happened in the midst of what was going to be a race war in school. Now, it didn't get into a physical fight with lots of people, like some things do depictively. However, it's a lot of arguing, and I think most of this came because of like Black History Month and all kinds of other stuff. And Black History Month kind of teaches white kids to be scared of black kids because of black rage and all the things your ancestors did to my ancestors. However, this is before I found out that I was also part Cherokee Indian when I just thought I was part black and part white. Now the thing is, racism, the hatred, the real racism, is taught at home. All right, And most people, unlike my friend's roommate's father, who was a truth-to-God, honest racist, but he never really told us why he hated black people. He didn't say what black people did to him to make them hate black people. He didn't say if he was raised to hate black people. He just hated black people. Like, for no apparent reason. He just all out hated black people. Now, I'm a strong believer in that there has to be a reason for you to honestly, truly, that God hates someone because of the color of their skin. Because there's, there has to be something there other than hating someone just because of the fact that they're black. There has to be something there. Someone had to do something to you or you had to be taught to do that. We never got to those answers. And I more than likely never will because after my bro stopped living with his child, we never seen him or his child ever the fuck again. I put it there fine, and I respect this honest racist, and I love this honest racist because I knew where I stood with him from day one. And he straight told me, we ain't never gonna have a problem. No, because you take care of my son, your bro take care of my son, my son's living with your bro in this little house, and you come visit him, you treat him like he everybody else. It's like, well, sir, I don't have a reason to have any issues with your son. You know, I did have one issue with his son on how he treated his girlfriend. And I pointed that out to his father, and his father agreed with me on that, and he needed to do better by his girlfriend. Because the thing about being a woman is, when you have a woman, we're the blessed ones. Women don't understand that, that we're the blessed ones. Especially if you got a woman that actually loves you, and move heaven and earth for you. And it works in reverse. If, you have a, if you're a woman and you have a man that will move heaven and earth for you, that's a keeper versus a creeper. Alright? Now... You know, I have never really been lucky in love, and the one person I was lucky in love with, well, she threw me away like yesterday's news for issues less becoming that is completely irrelevant for this, unless her adoptive parents were secretly racist and didn't want her to have babies with a half-breed like me, or a multicultural breed. Now, this girl was Korean, her parents were white, and unless they straight told her, look, as a little girl, it's like, look, you can have all the fun you want, but you can't marry a man of color. You have to either marry a Korean man or a white man, which would still make the baby more like me than like them. Because no matter what, she's never going to have a white child. She's not white, so she can't have a white baby. 
She can have a mixed baby that can be white and Korean, but she can never have a full-on white baby. It's not going to happen outside of adoption. Now let's move on. When you take kids and you decide to wash their brains with hatred, because that's exactly what you do when you turn a kid who was playing with the Chinese kid yesterday and now start calling the kid all kinds of Asian derivatives and this influences that kid to hate black kids and start using the n-word and now you see the cycle then both of these kids start hating the white kids and started using the c words or the w words or the h word and it just goes on and on and on and then they teach their kids you can't date billy bob because billy bob's a white boy and you're a young black girl or you're a young asian girl or you're a white girl with blonde hair and blue eyes and billy boy's a white boy with Blue eyes, but black hair, and we don't want those DNA things in our bloodline because our family only has blonde-haired, blue-eyed children. And that's what we want, and that's what we're going to keep. We don't want any of that. So you start putting restrictions on your daughters of who they can date, not who you can fall in love with, not if that person is going to treat you properly and nice in the way that I would want my daughter to be treated, if I was a girl the way I would want to be treated. No, fuck that. I would rather you marry a white man that's going to beat your ass up and down the block and we're going to have those beautiful white grandchildren. And this also goes for black people and Asian people versus letting my daughter live with somebody who actually will love her, treat her right, and treat her like a woman and the gift from God that women are to men. Good women, not the bad ones, not the money-grubbing slut puppy whores that only want you for your cash. I'm sorry I had to throw that in there, but it is true. There's gold diggers on every, every side of the track. You know, a lot of trophy wives, gold diggers. All right, a lot of trophy husbands, gold diggers. No, but yeah, it, it is what it is. But this isn't about this. This is about racism. But this has a lot to do with that because of influence by parental units and things telling that their kid as a young age just installing it in them. You can have black friends, but you can't have black boyfriends. You know, they try a little bit of black dick. Boom. Now they're stuck with black dick. Nope, you can't have his baby. We won't allow that. And that doesn't just come from those families. That comes from black families too. Because like I said at the beginning of the very first video, that there was an equal amount of racism in every ethnicity on the planet. But racism can be stopped if we stop teaching hatred to our children when they hit third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth grade. So from K to college, you start experiencing racism, and I'm going to have to make a fourth video because some asshat's standing at my door talking. Thanks for watching.